Welcome back to my channel. It is Sunday here at my home and that means Sunday dinner. So what I got here, I am about to make some shrimp fried garlic noodles that will make your mouth water. Want to see it? Stick around. Bye. Everything that I'll be using from the carrots to the black pepper, the sesame seed oil, the onions, Archer sauce, and that um, red bottle, ginger, um, chopped um, garlic, soy sauce, and then there's my shrimps, and then my noodles is there. That's the sauce that I'll be using. Um, that's another look, oil, and my pan. So I'll be taking these noodles over, and I put those noodles in some hot water just to kind of get those juices of getting marinated in there. And I'm about to work with the shrimp, but not before um, I get all of my other ingredients together. So right now I'm about to start chopping the um, lettuce. And I try to cut them in noodle size. And then you'll see that I will just kind of start cr crisscrossing the cut with those. It isn't something I really wanted to do with those. I really wanted to make them... Um, cut them in like thin slices like the noodles but that isn't what I done um, once I got finished chopping these up next thing I do is <clears throat> and I'm just showing you guys how it looks but and that's me also just re cutting them like crisscrossing them which I hate that I done but oh well and so here I'm getting my fire ready and then putting the pan back on the stove. I'm not sure. Nope, I hadn't cut the onions up, but I'm about to dice the onions up. I'm going to put some in the, in the pan also, and then I'm going to chop some on top as well. And you guys will see that a little bit later on in the video. But right now... I'll just do my thing while you guys watch me just chop these up. Okay guys, so while I am getting these chopped up, my oil in my pan is just heating up a little bit. First thing up, what I'm going to do is do the veggies. I'm going to just kind of saute the lattice and the onions and the carrots that I have um, on the side there. And I'm just getting them just marinated just a little bit. I cook these just a little bit too longer long um than my liking but the family still loved them they thought it was the bomb.com so <sighs> i do better the next batch but um that's what i'm doing here is just kind of working my veggies getting them all marinated around and that little vegetable oil that i have there and then once i get that all worked up the way that i like um, I'll be adding in some other ingredients. First up will be the onions. And the lettuce that I have is Napa lettuce. Um, that's some pretty good lettuce. The only thing about it is you, wanna, you don't want to cook it too much because it will get watery. And that's the no-no I done. <clears throat> so I'm about to dump in some carrots. And these are already finely sliced carrots. So I didn't have to do any work there and I am just you know working them in and here I'm just moving around my yakisoba noodles that I'll be adding to the dish once I drain the water out and that's just me just playing around so I'm adding a little bit of pink Himalayan salt not too much just a couple of little dashes of salt and then next I'll be adding some black pepper, same thing, maybe a teaspoon of black pepper. And guys, certainly you can adjust anything as you know to taste. Um, 
as always, as I was told, it's easier to build up than to build down when you add too much of your seasonings. So I would definitely say use a lighter hand um, first until you can kind of get this recipe down. So the next thing I'm going to be doing once I kind of get these bad boy sautés um i will be adding in my ginger and my um garlic and i'm just working this just working it around until i get the consistency that i want you still want a little bite still want a little bit of bite of your veggies uh, just for a flavor it gets a good flavor to these fried noodles so yeah make for sure you don't cook them too much you still want a little bit of a bite I should have started with the onion the, I'm sorry the carrots first but <sighs> I'm whorehead so I did the cabbage first that's a big no-no a big no-no so this is how you want it to look um, I had a little too much water in there for my liking and that's just I went too much with the the lettuce so I'm adding in my ginger and these are probably two tablespoons of ginger I didn't want to use that much ginger but I like ginger so it's a little bit heavy on the ginger I'm gonna use equivalent to I want to tell you three tablespoons of garlic um, the more garlic the better remember these are garlic noodles so that garlic flavor you should be tasting and as always, you can adjust to your palate. But my family likes it the way I cook it, so there. So I'm just getting it all worked in. Now I'm about to cook my shrimps. Now the shrimps have already been um, fully cooked, as you can see, because they're pink. I'm actually just getting them warmed. So I'm just working that around um, and my vegetables. And now I'm about to drain the water off the noodles and add the noodles. <clears throat> so before I add the noodles, I wanna add a little bit of uh, sesame seed oil to the noodles, just to get that flavor. You guys definitely don't want to miss out on that. And then I'm adding a little bit more oil in the pan. And this is because I cooked the lettuce a little bit longer than I had wanted to. So it was giving me more water um, than I would like. This particular dish, guys, should be more of an oil-based. If you don't have that oil, chances are you cooked your lettuce, like myself, a little too long. So I'm going back in with some garlic. Um, Again, it's supposed to be garlic noodles. I want to tell you I added equivalent to, to three tablespoons of uh, minced garlic. You can also chop it up if you want yourself, but I kind of like the you know the easy approach. I already get it ready made for me, so I like taking shortcuts. You work smarter, not harder. <laughs> So I'm just still working this around. I'm just cooking down that garlic. And now I'm adding in my noodles. The start of the show. Just getting those worked in there. Getting all this goodness all mixed around, guys. Oh, I wish you guys could taste this dish. I wish you guys could smell this dish. It smells absolutely amazing. I mean, absolutely amazing. I am actually going to do this again for my boss. Um, they wanted to um, have this as well. So I added just a little bit more black pepper there. And now I'm going in with my soy sauce. And once I get um, done with my soy sauce, I'll be adding in some oyster sauce. And that right there was probably um, four tablespoons of soy sauce or maybe a half a cup. Um, and now I'm doing like a cup of the oyster sauce. This is real thick, guys. I'm gonna tell you, it has a dynamic flavor to this dish. You see, I did that little dance there. That's just because it smells. Okay, so I am just getting this a good mix. Um, just making sure all of the flavors are incorporated into this particular dish. Everything is pretty much ready at this particular point. I am just staring and staring and staring. Um, 
nothing much to do now is to yell for my sister and my daughter to come and do a taste test. I don't know about you guys, but once I can get someone to taste my stuff, um, it's kind of seals the deal that it's done. I'm just going to dash a little bit of that flavor packaging over these noodles that came with um, the pack of noodles that I used. I only needed one. I don't need all of them because I still wanted that garlic flavor. I just needed some underlined, uh, undertone flavor also just to give it a little bit more of a, mm, just a little bit more of a pop. That's it, and I'm just getting that all mixed in, just getting it good and mixed, making for sure um, I got all that powder residue incorporated in to what I want it to be in this particular dish. But guys, this smells so good. So, so, so good. So good, so, so good. So now, lastly, but not least, I'm just going to top this off with some green onions. Right now, I'm going to call my daughter so she can come down and give it a taste. <clears throat> but my sister beat her. So my sister's coming to get her a taste, which turned out to be a whole plate. Look at that plate there, y'all. Look at that. I told her it tastes like a fork full of everything. She no, she went and got a whole little plate. She was hungry, so she said though she said it was absolutely delicious. So I'm just wrapping up the onions that I had um, cut. I'm just typing them, topping them off, and then just hang tight a little bit. I'll show you guys how this dish turned out. I unfortunately did not plate this. That is my bad, guys. But I will show it to you inside the pan. I just wish I played it so you can kind of get a better look of it. <laughs> and then look at my sister wanting to be Chef Boyarditi. She wants to make it more presentable for you guys. Um, I don't know what she's doing there, but I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. She's just making it look cute, I guess. So she's like, come on over and take a picture. So I'll be bringing you guys over into the pan so you can get a good look at how it looks. And here it goes. Guys, I wish you could taste this. It tastes so good. It tastes amazing. I might say so myself. Um, now I'm just waiting on my daughter. My daughter did come down and get a spoonful. We also have some um, crab legs coming. So that's just me now taking my taste of it i didn't get a shrimp so i'm going back for the shrimp guys best to believe i'm going back for that shrimp and that right there was so good it was so good guys i'm still thinking about it i will be making another pan thursday so a couple of days after i upload this video but it was delicious thanks guys for watching 